Hello, it's Sam Conan again. Another interesting insight from my literature class today. Still talking about Thomas Aquinas's Summa Theologica. At the very end of the Summa, well, not the very end, but somewhere in the, uh, the latter half, Aquinas starts talking about the difference between theological virtues and cardinal virtues. In the Greco-Roman world, there were four cardinal virtues, prudence, justice, temperance, and fortitude. And these were the highest these were the highest virtues that humans could attain through the exercise of their reason, uh, disciplining their uh, emotions and their passions. These are the things that, a human, that humans could attain to. And there were four in number. The three theological virtues were faith, hope, and love. And Aquinas argues that only uh, humans can attain the three theological virtues only through the grace of God, only, uh, only through God's grace elevating human nature above its natural capacity could humans attain uh, the theological virtues. The really interesting thing about this is that the four cardinal virtues uh, are four in number, and four is the medieval number for man. The three theological virtues, uh, three uh, corresponds to the number uh, that the medievals used, medievals used for God. Four plus three equals seven, which means that the perfection of human being could only be had through God's grace elevating human nature. Four plus three is seven. Seven is the number of perfection, of creation. And so to become fully human, a, hu a man or a woman had to attain the four cardinal virtues and the three theological virtues. Grace, God's grace had to elevate human nature beyond its natural capacity. That's what we talked about today in literature class. Um, not much application there other than you need to attain all seven virtues. Uh, prudence, justice, temperance, fortitude, faith, hope, and love in order to be fully human, says Thomas Aquinas. Talk to you soon.